Me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 42 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add gross souls into your map. Now, this amazing script is made by a guy by the name of Make Sense. Now, he's also provided a few tutorials on making your own Easter egg, but he's also the maker of gross souls. So, much props to him. You know, he's doing amazing work. And I'm going to have a link to his YouTube channel down in the description. And it's also going to be the link where you can get the Gross Souls. So once you already have the download, open it up. It's going to be a raw file that's going to be called Gross Souls version 1.2 is the current version. Now it might get updated. So if anything, always navigate right to his YouTube channel so you can get the download because he might be upgrading this in the future. Let's see. All right. So let's implement this into your map. So what you want to do is you want to double click it, open it up. Once you open it up, it's going to have a folder that's called Grow Souls. And it's going to have three items inside of that folder. One is going to say Map Source. The other one is going to say Growing Souls Box. And it's going to be a text document on how to implement this. Now I'm going to walk you guys through all the steps. So if anything, let's extract this onto the desktop. There we go. Don't need this anymore. Now, what you want to do is you want to open up that folder. As you can see, there's the three items. Now, let's open up our root folder for Black Ops 3. There we go. Now, what you want to do is you want to drag the map source into your root folder. That way, it'll give us the prefabs that we're going to need to implement this. There we go. Now, let's navigate to the map that we're going to be implementing this into. So, you want to go over to User Maps. And you want to pick the map that you're going to be adding this to. In my case, it's going to be ZM underscore soul. And I'm going to go over to scripts. I'm going to go into ZM. And as you can see, I already have it in there. So that's what you want to do. You just want to drag over that GSC file. Now, if we open up the GSC file, it has quite a few features that we can um, modify. Now, right under function int, is going to be uh, the first one is going to say um, grow soul. So either this, you can turn it to true or false. Let's say if you don't want the item to grow, the second choice is going to be either which one you want to choose. So it can either be a gun, an ending, or a door as the final reward. Now, this is the most important. This is pretty much the only one you really have to modify, depending on which prefabs you're going to be using. And of course, all the other ones are self-explanatory. You know, um, souls all reward. Let's say if you complete all the souls, it'll give you a ray gun mark three. So you can change this to the gun of your choosing. By default, it's set to ray gun mark three. And all the other items, you know, it's like the distance of how close the zombie has to be for the souls to be absorbed. And also right over here, random rewards, like this is random gun, perk, and minigun. Now the one under it, as you can see, is the AR damage, the L LMG, and the shotgun pump. And actually, you can change these four. To whichever guns you want to give the player so it's pretty much self-explanatory i wouldn't modify anything beyond this point and that's pretty much it so for this tutorial we're going to be doing door so make sure what you want to do is one of these three options so in my case is door i'm gonna leave it the way it is i'm gonna hit file I'm gonna hit save just in case anything got changed all right so let's add this to the gsc file open up your gsc Move that over to the left. Now I'm going to open up the instructions. Now, as you can see, this goes in your main function in your map name GSC. So you want to copy this part and you want to scroll down to function main and you want to put this right under ZM underscore user maps. You know, make a little bit of space, paste it right under there, just like usual. 
All right, that part is done. Now we want to add this goes in your map name GSC with your other viewings. So we're going to copy this at using. Scroll up, put it along with all these other bad boys right over here and paste that in and hit file and hit save. Now this part is done. So next step is you want to back out one and then back out again and you want to go into zone source. And as you can see, it's going to have a zone file. Double click on that. And you're going to want to open this up in Notepad. And you just want to copy this part right over here and paste it in. Like I already have it in there. But let me do that from the beginning. And there you have it. Now you can put two slashes and call it what it is so you'll know what that's for. So that's cool right there. Hit file, hit save, and we're pretty much done with the scripting part. Now it's time to add the prefabs. All right, so let's open up the map that you're gonna be implementing this into in Radiant. As you can see, I already have a test map up. Now you wanna hit B on the keyboard to bring up your entity browser. There we go. Now you wanna go over to MISC, you wanna go to prefab, and you wanna drop in a prefab. There we go. Now go into ZM and you're going to see a folder that's called Grow Soul. Double click on that. And here are all the prefabs you can add. Now there's certain ones you should uh, go by. Let's say um, Grow Souls Complete. That's just basically for you to grow the souls and it'll give you a gun. And then Complete Door is so you'll grow the souls and it'll open up a door. And then there's the other one that says complete ending. So that's if you want to do the ending. So these are the three options and these are all individual prefabs that you can also add. But all of the ones that say complete have everything you need. So you can just copy and paste it all over your map. So we're going to be doing grow souls complete door. So double click on that. As you can see, it added the prefab. Now I'm going to press F4 so it'll show me where the prefab is. There it is. Let me zoom out. Let me bring it over to where I want it. Press F4 again. There we go. All right. Now, what you want to do is you want to go over to Prefab on the top. And you want to stamp this. So go to Stamp Prefab. There we go. And as you can see, it gave us three items. One is a door. And one is a model with a clip. And here's another model without a clip. Now choose between these two, which one you want to use. Either you want the zombie to walk through it, which is the one without a clip, or if you want the zombies to have to go around it. And also you'll have to go around it because there's a clip there. So me, I'm going to be choosing the one without a clip because I don't want anything stopping me from going in that direction of the item. All right, so here's the item that's going to be absorbing the souls. Now you can um, stamp this. So go to prefab or enter the prefab. And let's say you can select it. Press N on the keyboard to bring up your entity info. And you can change the model of what's going to be absorbing the souls. Currently, it's set to a uh, food, fruit, watermelon. Now, if you hit these three little dots on the side, you can choose any model you want. Now, certain models won't work but majority of them do. So in my case, I'm going to choose a teddy. And you can pick any one of these teddy bears. So I'm going to pick teddy bear sitting. Double click on that. Give it a second. And there it is. Now it's a teddy bear. So I'm going to go to leave prefab. And remember, if you save it, it's always going to be set to this model. So if you don't want to save it to the prefab, I would advise stamping it and then changing it. But in my case, I'm going to change it so it'll always be a teddy bear. All right, cool. So uh, I can just select this teddy and hit the space bar to copy it and put one over here. Hit escape. And let's deal with the door now. So I'm going to select the door. And I'm going to move it over here. 
And once I fill up these two teddies and they explode, that means that it'll give me the reward of opening the door. Now, same thing with the door. If you don't want this door, just select it. Either you could go to enter prefab or stamp prefab and then just select the door and then change the door model. And it also has a vector. So you could change the vector into the direction that you would want it to go. So right now it's currently on, well, let's take a look at it. So I'm gonna go to enter prefab. I'm gonna select the trigger, I'm gonna press H, I'm gonna hide it. Select the clip, hide that. Now I'm selecting the door. And as you can see, it, the model is set to this door. So I would just click on it hit the three dots and change it to whatever door you would like it to be. So me, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to leave prefab and leave it the way it is. So let me hit file. Let me hit save and let's compile this and check it out in game. So let's open up this. I have my map selected, compile, lights, link and run and hit build. And within a minute, we'll be able to check out the game in action. Now, remember, depending on whichever prefab you're going to be selecting, change it in the GSC to either a door, a gun, or an ending. In our case, we're using door. There we go. No errors. That's pretty good. So that means we hooked up the GSC information in the right way. Now, remember, this map, well, at least this script is featured in the map Halloween made by Zeroy. So if you want to check out this script in action in an amazing custom map, you know, I advise checking it out. It's on a Steam Workshop and it's called Halloween. There we go. It's converting the Teddy. A few more seconds and we'll be able to go in game. All right, cool. All right, it's done. So let's see if it loads up the map for us. Yes, it is. All right, cool. Oh, didn't have Steam open. Let's do that right now. I don't need all this other information. And let me run that again, because I didn't have Steam open. Bow, baby. All right. All right, cool. Now we'll be able to check it out in action. It's really simple. It's an amazing script. Once again, uh, it's, there's going to be a link in the video description where you can check out the rest of Make Sense's work. You know, he does amazing scripts. He's also doing tutorials on making your own script for an Easter egg. So he gets very in-depth and he shows you guys how to do all of this yourself. So show him some love, subscribe, and check out the amazing videos he's providing. And let's give it a few more seconds. And here we go. All right, cool. All right, so there's the two teddies. Remember, you can just copy them and paste them all around the map, as many as you want. And it has a radius of 300, so right there that zombie's close enough. and as you can see the souls are getting absorbed and little by little the teddy bear is actually growing once it gets up to a certain size it'll explode and release a let me knock these guys there we go loving those souls ain't you teddy 
fatty. Alright. Let's give it a few more seconds. Let these zombies spawn. Pick up the shotgun over here. Give us an item. Either it's gonna be a perk or a gun. Let's see which one it is. Whoop. Think he needs a little bit more zombies. Say one or two more zombies should do it. Now remember, I chose the one without a clip, so I'm able to walk right through it. Cool, that should be enough. There we go. It actually gave us the perk. All right, let's pick it up. Let's see which one it is. All right, cool. It's working pretty good. Let's bring over these zombies. And once we finish off this teddy, it should open up that door. Maybe this teddy will give us a gun. This, it's amazing how this script works. Come on, zombies. Should have put the bear a little bit closer. But it's round four. It'll, it'll pick up speed. a gun and what's cool about this is that the gun will stay there until somebody picks it up there we go all right now i have a new gun man of war and as you can see the door opened up so there you have it guys if you like this video hit that like button subscribe for some future content and don't forget show your love to make sense for providing this epic script you to implement into your map. Peace guys. Thanks for having yeah. me.